Okay, in this problem, something like this, they're asking you, find the domain. Yeah, um, all you have is a function, and you're probably not sure how to graph that, but we don't need to know that. And mm -hmm. something, when you have a fraction, you can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. And if you want to know why, go up in a... Look up uh, a few things you didn't know about zero. Yeah, sure. It's a YouTube video or on the website. Um, sure. I can never divide by zero. So my possible domain restrictions are where the denominator is zero. How are we going to find out where the denominator is zero? We're going to ask it. O oh, denominator, where are you zero? Now you're back to linear equations. Yeah. Solve that guy. Solve that guy. What are you going to do? You're going to add an x. Add an x. Yeah. On the left, they fight. And on the right, you're left with x. That is 4. <coughs> sure. So now let's just uh, flip the dang thing. Yeah. So then x is 4. Yeah. What is that? That's the one spot that makes the denominator 0. So if we're going to find the domain, of a rational expression like this. You ask the denominator, where are you, zero? You find it. Now we're about to write this thing up. The domain of f, my function, in set notation, curlies, who are we talking about? Domain elements, those are x's. We're talking about x. x, okay, x, cannot equal 4. Good times. Good times. Yeah. A box. Yeah. Oh man. Wait, that's not a box. Yeah. That problem was dynamite. Yeah, I really got a blast out of it. It was real bang. I'm gonna take you old school. It was the bomb.